transition back to today too, but I noticed on last night's version, there's a lot of kick drum information at the end of the phrase. Not, not as deadly in there as it is out here. Uh, oh, oh, I know you're talking. When you're about. stomping on it, it sounds. I can hear the guitar really crunchy and the bass together, but all that kick drum in there too. Don't you mind? I mean, there's probably a fine line between enough and too much. Well, yeah, I'm going to need to hear him too because I'm going to be freezing the fire. No, over that, that's fine. I just need to adjust my level in there. So, you know the Terry, Manning, the Terry Manning story about John Bonham uh, when, Terry, when they would, went to Memphis and recorded, and Terry Manning was like the assistant engineer. And, uh, he was you know, taking on some of the engineer duties, and he was, so he like started close mic and all bottom drums and setting up all these room mics and stuff. And Bonham walked in and was like, uh, "What's all this?" And Terry was like, "Well, I was thinking that you know we wanted to individually have a mic on every drum and have, you know mic bunch of room mics and stuff." And Bonham was like, uh, three microphones. I'll show you where to put." Them. And then Terry tried one more time. He's like, but if, if we, yeah, probably not have, the same story. Uh, oh, yeah? No, it's not. I'll tell you. He said, uh, he said, well, but if we have a mic on every drum, you know, we have more control in the mix if the drum needs to be louder. And Bonham said, if I want a drum to be louder, oh, I'll yeah. get it harder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Eddie Kramer said. They got to a point with him where they would let him walk in the studio and place his own mic. Because we were like, so what yeah, happened? All the engineers like, Hey, so how'd you get John Bonham drum sound, man? Like, can you tell us about like my placement and shit? He's like, we used to do this. John would walk in the studio and I'd say, well, pick us out a nice mic. And he'd go pick like the biggest mic. Uh -huh. He'd go pick like an old Western electric. Oh, I like this one. Walk out and let it like, where do you think we should put it? Well, right here. Yeah. I think we should have right here. Right, yeah. Then Kramer would go, okay, cool. Then put up the fader and it would sound deadly. Yeah. Of course, Bonham knew nothing about mic placement. And Eddie Kramer's thing was, I'll tell you, the truth, John Bonham makes his own drum. He yeah. played his levels on one mic wherever you put it. Yeah. His relationship of hits to hits was. And that's really what you're trying to capture at that point. Yeah. You know? yeah. If I want a drum to be louder, I'll oh, hit it. <laughs>